Hello, Professor. My name is uh, Jonathan Ochoa. I'm doing this presentation on golf in Vitoria. A little recap. Uh, golf in Spain. Society's outlook on golf. Okay. So golf in the general public's eye is still looked at as an elite sport that is expensive and uh, is played in the south. So um, wealthy tend to play it and tourists uh, tend to play it mostly in the south of Spain. Um, certification. In most of Spain, uh, Spanish residents must have a certification or ID that confirms that they are able to play golf. That means that they have a certain level, uh, um, then they can go play uh, golf. Okay. Uh, cost and time. In general, golf is expensive. Uh, for example, clubs, they tend to cost from 500 to uh, 2000 depending this is of course new and it takes time a round can take about four and a half hours and some people well they just don't have that that time or they don't want to spend it that much time um, during this doing this activity they would rather have uh, comida or have some tapas <laughs> so I live in Basque uh, in Vitoria Gasteiz which is in the Basque country in northern Spain the estimated population is 249,176 people. The average household income in Vitoria is 1,733 euros. And there's about one car per family. And I'm stating these facts because it'll, they'll be relevant a little bit later on. In, it rains an average of 8.3 uh, days in a month. And it's about an average of 62.40.4 millimeters of rainfall in a month. So that's a lot of rain. That's a lot of water. That's one thing that the golf courses around this area they don't have to worry about is um, water. You might have to worry about uh, drainage, but um, water is is not one is one thing that they don't have to worry about. The average uh, high temperature is 17 degrees Celsius and the low is uh, 6.2 degrees uh, a year so it's pretty cold here they, they actually call it Siberia gas days because it's just constantly so cold um, the months with most sunshine in July an average of 7.9 hours and the months the least sunshine is December of 2.4 hours. This means that it could be rainy, uh, cloudy, cold, snowy, uh, etc. So there's not m much uh, sunshine here. Of course, during the summer there's more. During the winter there's less. Okay. Okay. Whoops. So, um, golf in Vitoria. This is the way it works. There are three championship golf courses. Uh, Club uh, de Golf La Rebea, which is an 18-hole course, and it's a uh, private. There's uh, Zuya Club Club de Golf, which is a nine-hole uh, with a driving range and a clubhouse. Um, and East Keys down here. Um, Beautiful golf course, East Keys, uh, one of my favorite actually to play. It was designed by Sevillano Ballesteros, also known as Sevi, a very famous golf uh, golfer. Okay, within the city, the city is over here. There is a uh, small pitch and putt. There's a mini golf. There's one pro shop, and there is uh, uh, on the outskirts of the city. There's a private pitch and putt facility that is focusing on. Um, golfers that want to get a high quality of uh, teaching so the instructor there which I actually used to be one of them um, they teach golfers that come from all, all over uh, the area to learn golf and to improve their game okay so um, in saying this the majority of these golf courses are about 30 minutes away because it is a mountainous area this area, it, this East Keys Golf Course is public 
and it focuses a lot on uh, the tourism industry that comes from La Rioja, which is down below over here. Okay, and um, of course this one uh, is private, um, and this one is more focused on the small towns that that uh, surround that area. Okay, so in saying that, it's cold, it's rainy. Uh, it's mountainous. There's already a, a pitch and putt. Um, there's two pitch and putts, and you have to have a car to reach the main golf courses. Um, what uh, is the solution? In my opinion, there's two solutions. Okay, for this market, uh, the the one that I was very excited about in the beginning was golf sports bar. Okay, so like golf simulators and uh, you have a bar. The, imagine Top Golf. I'm not sure if you've I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but Top Golf is a driving range that you can practice and also you can have a good old time hitting balls while you're drinking uh, some beers with your family or friends, etc. If you have, I'm sure you know about it. Top Golf. Google it. The one in Vegas is ridiculous. Anyway, you can have entertainment, food. Uh, it's accessible to the general public. Um, now, one thing that I forgot to mention, and that was one of the slides before, is that Vitoria is not known for tourism. Okay? So, in saying that, it's not like Bilbao or San Sebastian that you can have a big amount uh, of traffic from tourism coming to this bar. Um, and also, I put down below, it says, beware, because it did not work in Madrid. It was located in the street La, Castell La Castellana, which is, this bar was actually in front of Bernabeu, um, and it didn't work. In my opinion, they should have put it by Puerto del Sol, where there's much more tourist uh, traffic, and I think you would be inclined for the people that want to watch uh, different sports um, from around the world and also they want to have some tapas and, and hit some shots at the same time, hit some golf shots. Okay. Um, my next idea was this. So this is an indoor facility that a lot of universities in the upper Midwest focus on. So um, let me just fast forward a little bit through the here. So here you can see they're going to build the the area and uh, it is an indoor facility next to the track and field. It's an indoor track and field. So of course this is uh, a university that has a high budget uh, for many things. So you can see that they build uh, a little fairway, a little practice green, and there's a track and field, the indoor track and field uh, area, right? So these these collegiate golfers, they have all the technology that they need to, to practice uh, and improve on their game. Okay, you can see on the right side they have all the technology that can do uh, club analysis, swing speed analysis, uh, ball rotation. Uh, there's a bunker that they can work on their short game, and uh, you know it's it's good overall. All right, so let me pause it and go to the next slide. All right, so. An indoor facility, facility mimicking the university style of indoor facility. Okay, so it would have golf simulator, which you can see over here, a uh, short game area with a putting green with about a hundred meter uh, shot with bunkers. Um, but in the deep over here, you can see that there's a, a, a green where people can hit, hit a little bit longer shots. And so on. I've actually been to some of these facilities and they are amazing. One good thing that you don't have to worry about is cost of uh, water. Uh, maintenance is a lot lower. You don't have to worry about maintenance of grass. 
uh, you do have to worry about maintenance of the bunkers and stuff, but that's pretty minimal. All you ha really have to do is vacuum the sand and pour it back in. Um, and uh, it would have a net hitting area, lounge area with TV ch chairs, tables, and of course restrooms. So it would be pretty bare bones um, depending on the investment, of course. One good thing and also kind of a bad thing is that after the recession um, there was uh, a lot of industry here in Vitoria and there were, there is a lot of warehouses so there's availability of space uh, we would of course have to find one that is centrally located uh, or at least walkable um, so uh, there I think the cost is, could be pretty minimal uh, for rent okay possibly buying uh, a location as well which would be a decent investment as well anyway so I think for Vitoria a place like this that is uh, focusing on the local golfer uh, with good marketing for f building future golfers with junior uh, clinics and, and things of that sort I think it could, it could actually work um, mainly because of this the rain okay again there's not much tourism here even though it's a beautiful little city which I do recommend uh, visiting um, and that's pretty much my presentation I hope you enjoyed it um, here are all my resources and thank you very much thanks prof uh, you have a good rest of the day